Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is from Ekwor Saine and I'm still on top of my blog. I'm not too bad, but I finished the first class from Computer Engineering University of Benin and I'm so happy to see you today. Welcome, welcome. If I've been here before, wow, I'm so happy to see you again. And if you've never been here before, well, I'm happy this is your first time. Subscribe to my channel, please. Just It's so easy. Just click on the subscribe button and Turn on the special bell and that's just it. It's just as easy as going like this. I think it's about this is 0 0.001 seconds to do so. <laughs> just kidding. Well, and to today's episode, we're having a very interesting um, topic. It's about scholarship. So many students have been my DM asking me, promise I heard you were on so and so scholarship. How can I get into that? Um, scholarship, what do I have to do? What are the requirements? Then it'll be out. So many questions. But let me start by saying something. Scholarships in Nigeria and graduate universities are hundred percent real. Not all are real. There are some. There are a lot of scammers that tell you anything that you see. Someone saying, "Please pay one thousand naira to apply." Just know that from that single point, it's already it's already a scam because no legit scholarship in Nigeria. They want to help you academically. Nobody will tell you, "Please come and pay one k." Some people say, "Come and pay ten thousand naira." No, just struggle and just get payment strike it out it is a scam it is wrong so number one now are there risk scholarships yes example of this risk scholarship award uh we have snapco we have spdc they are both of them are shell and snapco stands for shell nigeria exploration and production company what spd stands for shell um petroleum development company right so um this post scholarships are on that shell okay they are on that shell enterprise or shell companies in nigeria okay then we have total scholarship now what i'm telling you about this is that see don't start thinking that what am i saying is she saying the right thing excuse me i collected one hundred fifty thousand naira from shell in five years so i know what i'm saying this is very very real. i'm a proud ambassador and that's why i can help you to achieve that so um i have a forum where i tell young people about scholarships i mentor them academically if you're interested just send a dm a, a direct message to that number 0818628254 and you'll be added to the forum so you can always get information right that's for me information rules the world when most of the scholarship come out they have a deadline of about two weeks or three weeks maximum so you if you are going to apply for them you should have planned ahead to know what they will need so that when they're out it'll be so easy to just provide it and that's it your chance of that scholarship will be very very high so um they are real i've clarified that number two I've, there are a lot of authentic ones i'm just saying them now um mobile total nmpc there's Seplat, there's agbami chevron scholarship it's not scholarship like that you understand so you have to know when they're out and i will help you by by sending you a message when they are out if i have your contact so you can contact me at 0818628254 and um if you are a jam and you just run into this video i still have something for you you can still join a group i have a group of mental jam people and people writing jam on how to enter investors preferred and all that so just click the link and send me a dm you have my number click the link in the group descriptions in or send me a dm that would be great now um i'm talking about these scholarships now another question is when do they come out this question are not available to just anybody like if you're in final year you cannot start applying for formula family level personal level come on you're already like you're already, a, you're already a mentor now, eh? so you're already, an, you're already advanced, so you leave it for the children now, but those are just entry, right? <laughs> and everybody likes money, shall but then if you really like money, then you should know this 100 level and 200 level. Most of the classes have, um, the particular levels they admit, or the, the, the particular levels that are eligible to apply for them, and it's mostly 100 level and 200 level, right? So, these scholarships, that, that's what you need to know about it. It comes out as logic is real. You have to know when it's out. You have to apply immediately. If they give you a criteria, do not take the criteria for granted. I'm going to tell you that um, to apply, you need a minimum of 2.5 GP. If you have 0.5 G as your GP, come on. Nobody can sponsor you because when you're not even serious, you yourself, you cannot even sponsor yourself. If you, if you, if, if you had the option to sponsor yourself, you will not even agree because well, you are doing nonsense. You're not serious at all. Not on the scholarship, they have a particular GP rate. So that's why it's always good to ensure that you have up to the standard and Boom, that's it. I'm not question people ask me that can I get two scholarships? Yes, it's very, very good. So many of my friends have two scholarships. So you can actually get two scholarships, you just have to apply. 
that's basically what you really 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 need to know so um i'll do another video where i'll be telling you the documents you need for short scholarship but this is these are the most common documents they ask they ask for white certificate they ask for a passport they ask for a not a, a letter from your hod those of you are very very funny you're not even in school then you just have automatically hey, you apply for a scholarship i can't can get it. you cannot get it there because how will you validate it which hod will sign for you they need a, a, a stamped copy of your results from your each of the rights of a distributor from your course advisor so that's really 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 basically what you need to know okay so to stay updated i've told give me my number reach out to me add it to the forum and Same then zero eight one eight six two eight one two five four don't forget i'm just a message away chat me up i'm here to help you i'm passionate about helping you and also share this video to your friends, not any other person that will be in the kind of forum and I'm not about it, I'm just giving my number and do that to the forum. So I'll be doing that video on Shell Clash, particularly directing on how and how, how to go about it. And then I will I will I should that now. Okay, let me just help you out right now. Just to know after you have shot for a scholarship. Now, when everyone applies for a scholarship, the the, the company you apply to they check through all the applications they check number one they select out the applicants that meet the requirements so if you don't meet the requirement you will never be shortlisted and as even if you meet this requirement for one or two reasons then let's know so then maybe the target is that you might not just still shortlisted do you understand so when you're shortlisted the first thing you want to do is that you want to look for past questions you want to ask someone that's done it before how were the questions set some questions are like quantitative questions, others are like verbal reasoning, others in involve mass image, others involve phys physics, chemistry. So you have to know what will this examination involve. Then another good thing you can use, you can use if it's a shell scratch present, you can use GMAT to prepare for it. The math presentation, quantitative reasoning sort of um have you been able to identify some kind of diagrams and some kind of things like that? Just and they give you logical questions, right? But if it's some scholarships like PTDM, they start giving you physics, chemistry, all those kind of things. So you have to know the question I'm applying for what are the past questions, how what is the pattern, and then when will I write my exam? You have to know the time. Another thing I have to remind you of some of you, you just put any kind of form of number you write, you like you put it on your application. Hmm. I don't know what you're doing to yourself because once. They should study for the examination. Next to do that, they will send you a text to the normal used to register. So if you just put any random, you even put the person that to register, you even put the person that you put that person's number there. It means that that person will, they will send a text to you. After you will not know. But some of you don't even check your Gmail, your email box, nothing. So I have, I have another interesting offer for you actually. I apply for all forms of scholarship as far as an undergraduate scholarship in Nigeria. So um, I can help you apply. Just DM me, you have my phone number. I've said it like 100 times in this video 0818628154. And I will help if you have any more questions you want me to answer. Comment in comment in the comments and uh, make it leave a comment in the comment section. Nobody's above this tip now. Leave okay. a comment in the comment section, and that will just be it. So, thanks so much for listening again. Subscribe to the channel, share to your friends, ask me questions. So you won't make mistakes. As I say, hey, I made a mistake. What can I do? Nothing. Because it's not any question. Ask your questions and that will be all. Thanks.